Every business needs money. The same goes for colleges. Some of these colleges make ginormous amounts of money and can spend it to upgrade weight rooms, locker rooms, stadiums, and other facilities. Unfortunately for some of these colleges, they don't have that same luxury. Most notably, the Northern Illinois Huskies, who recorded $22 million in revenue, which sounds like a lot, but is actually less than a program like Northern Colorado, and also less than two programs who don't even have college football teams with Massachusetts Lowell and College of Charleston. It's also worth mentioning this Huskies program makes less than one-tenth of the top college football program in total revenue. So clearly, being the poorest Division One FBS program has its challenges, but Coach Baldy Goggles has no fear in taking the job, because due to the lack of revenue, he won't be able to recruit any four or five-star recruits for the entire video, but when he manages to win two MAC conference titles, we'll then join the American, hopefully to increase our fan base. Even though this program has clear disadvantages, Coach Goggles still has complete confidence he can win the poorest college football program a national title. And we'll be starting the offseason for Coach Goggles. There's some decent guys leaving. There's really not that many. There's no transfers, though, which is pretty important important because coaches got hired so great job convincing the guys to stay even though i'm sure none of them are that stellar what kind of guys is coach gaga gonna be bringing in well i can't look at kj parker unless i want my game to freeze so can we go i don't know maybe biggest lead Okay, we just got to avoid KJ Parker because that guy is clicked. I can't even see these guys overall. Gosh, I hate when this happens. Just know the best guy in the class is a two-star. So, yeah, it's not great. It's probably not ranked that low, though. Yeah, 75th. We actually have a four-star. Huh, I'm going to keep that guy because that's from the prior regime, but I'm sure that guy's not very good. He's definitely going to be a bust. S. Mabumawa. So, I think he's Hawaiian. Okay, first year of the Coach Goggles era is underway. Definitely a better team than I usually start with in these types of videos. This team's not horrible, but it's very old. There's a lot of elder people or yeah seniors and stuff like that i'm registering this running back i don't think it works though i've tried registering seniors in this game they usually just graduate anyway so we'll see what happens but yeah this team isn't like awful quarterback wise like we have a pretty nice chain right here we got a junior a sophomore and then a freshman mason kid i'm still gonna recruit a quarterback though for the future probably this year or next year then running back is very gross there's a lot of old men here we need to get some youth because i do not want will henderson to start next year that would be a disaster let's go or undefeated oh my goodness yeah we played all fcs goals i don't want to get too ahead of myself it's not exactly impressive i don't know why i scheduled them i think i just wanted the guarantee wins i don't like getting fired in this because it really hurts the coach's progress it makes things a lot more difficult but 54 10 against sacred heart 24 to 12 against eastern washington and 47 to 3 against Nichols. let's see if we can keep the domination going against an fbs score playing ohio they are 0 3 so maybe coach goggles maybe and for this game against the bobcats we have 14 guys visiting i cannot emphasize enough this would be absolutely monumental coach goggles like we have got to win this game and we've got to get some commitments man that would be huge well they have an early lead but it's only three points and we're in the red zone i'm not concerned we're gonna get seven right here x seam oh seam easy okay yeah tanner could have eh, i don't know if i could have made that throw in the rain yeah probably not good job chris carter really low score again we're in the fourth quarter now i mean at least we still have a lead we're up 11 so score again and it probably will be game over i mean it might not be we'll see Sarko. Is that touchdown? Over the middle. Rudolph, let's go! Okay, good job, buddy. Defense. Let's hanker down right here. Come on, guys. Put the nail in the coffin. Put them out of their misery. Throw a pick. Oh, what the heck was that, dude? That was a lollipop throw. Let's go! All right, yeah. Whoa, I mean, another win. Oh, come on. There's only one yellow? Dude, that's it? I mean, I get it. They were not very good. They were even worse than us, but still. Oh, yeah, this is really bad. This is what happens when Coach Goggles is only like a level four coach, man. He doesn't have that visit thing he maxed out. So, yeah, honestly, I thought we could at least a few commits. I only got one. Well, thank you, Joshua. I don't know how we did it. Ten and two? I mean, yeah. I mean, how did we not even win our own division? Toledo. They went so oh, that means they didn't want a single game in the non-conference. Okay. I mean the offense is really good. So is the defense. The points four points against, though it's skewed because of the FCS games. Okay, well, Ohio went 0 and 12, so clearly they were very sucky. Lost to Bowling Green. Yeah, Toledo beat us by 17. But we ended the season on a five-game winning streak. Domination in every one of those games. Let's go. I love that. A big part of that success was our quarterback, Ethan Hanton. He's gonna be back next year. 2,600 yards, 23 touchdowns, only nine interceptions. Not bad for an 81 overall. Good job. Ethan. That's what my name was supposed to be. I was supposed to be Ethan, not Tanner, but, you know, things happen. And Terry Brown went for 1,300 yards. Man, we ran the ball pretty well. Yeah, Ethan, though, he was not very effective at running the football. As for receiving Trayvon Rudolph, man, we spread the love around here, dude. Everybody got a bite of the cake. I mean, that's awesome. I'm all about it. You know, team chemistry type stuff, you know, because that always is important, but that's awesome to see. And then lastly, defensively, Roy Willie. That's not the Roy Williams I know, but that's another one, apparently. 
apparently. He got the most uh, tackles. Second most TFLs behind Pierce Apong. He got hurt. And then the most sacks is also Roy Williams. Good job, Roy. As for the critic trail, Blake Elzinga. He ended up locking us out. Uh, very nice of you, Blake. Screw you. And then Trevor Miller committed to JMU. Also screw you, Trevor. But there are some guys we ended up getting committed to the program. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, not that many. It's a first year of critic class. It happens every video. I'm not going to overreact. It definitely helps us out, though, that we were so good this year. So, Coach Goggles is already like a level 10, I think, or something like that. Like, he's a pretty high level coach already, so that should definitely help us out. But it's bull game season, and I don't even know what bull game it is. It didn't pop up with that cool, like, screen logo thingy, so I have no clue. But we're playing Nevada. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we'll win. Maybe we won't. I don't really care either way. Hopefully, we'll win. That'd be nice. Just run it right at him. Easy. Easy start to the game. Good job, guys. And we're still up seven. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I mean, it's Nevada. They're seven and six. It's not like they're stellar or anything. Let's just score again. Stiff arm. Stiffy. Stiffy. Stiffy twice. Let's go. <laughs> Chris Carter, that guy's good at football. Good job, buddy. Oh my gosh, dude. We're taking the pound tower up 20 points. Hopefully, this is good for the boosters. Hopefully, they'll like spend money. Does Northern Illinois have boosters, though? That's a good question. I don't know if they do. Hopefully, they do. I mean, you'd think they would. They're a college football program. It's like they're D5 or something, but just hit it off right here. Win this bowl game. Hopefully, boosters will cut some checks for Coach Goggles. Okay, there we go. Just a dominant win, bro. It was not really ever even close. Truth be told, I still don't know how we were so good, but I think it's starting to make more sense. We had two trap picks, Drayvon, Rudolph, and then also Devontae O'Malley. And then we have so many graduates, dude. This is not good, dude. I feel like I'm watching the 2012 movie where there's like a volcano going off. There's tornadoes. There's a tsunami. And then there's an earthquake all at the same time. It's just not a good situation because we don't have that many commits coming in so yeah not exactly ideal timing i'm having quite the conflict on saturday i only have 10,000 points i'm trying to be creative i need to get this sar raymore guy not only because his hair is sweet and he's cool earrings but he's an 83 overall so i have to get him i have to yeah i mean 6,000 points hopefully and then bruce i feel like we have the best chance of getting him out of everybody else that's left that's a pretty high overall like i want to try and get one of these running backs but there's just no point because malik we're just too far behind and then javarian's Juco, so it's just kind of like, and eh. so we're going after Bruce and Sari, or and we got both. Welcome, Sari, and then also Bruce Malarkey. Let's go making this a recruiting class for this year. And oh dear, it's only nine guys, and we just had 25 leave the program. Ooh, the timing is that great. Yeah, oh, man, okay, it's fine. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's not fine at all. I mean, the bright side is, like I said, we had a really good season, so next year, Coach Goggles should be able to recruit better, but yeah, this was not the ideal scenario. I mean, we got some really good players, as you guys saw, like Bruce and Sar are gonna be really good. Kind of figured that, not ranked too high, 101. We had some walk-ons, though. Maybe one of those guys are good. Maybe they got rejected by Ohio State or something, and then we also gained a star in Team Prestige, so I will take it. Who has been grinding this offseason? No, oh, yeah. Yeah, that team's actually, yeah, we're still not going to be bad. I mean, we're going to be pretty decent. I don't know if we're going to be able to replicate what we did last year, but yeah, this team, it looks better than the team last year. So, I mean, quarterback, man, Ethan's going to be a stud this year. We got some good offensive weapons. Like I said, though, Ethan Hanton is a redshirt senior. He's not bad. We have a nice, like, assembly line going on here. We still are going to need to recruit a quarterback, though, because uh, Mason Kidd has already been in the program for three years, and I still need to really address the running back crew. I mean, we picked up one guy, Eric Thompson, but it's just still not enough. And then we also did desperately need some corners like it's threat level midnight it's bad so yeah there's definitely plenty of positions that we need to recruit this cycle coach goggles that's for sure but honestly i mean i could see us winning a lot of games again this year maybe another bowl game yeah we're definitely headed to a bowl game nine and oh i don't know i <laughs> understand it man for a college that does not make a lot of money or athletic department i should say yeah they certainly have made things look very easy so far this video i mean the offense is good so stevens i'd even sketch i think only scheduled one fcs school right i think it was only one i'm pretty sure yeah wyoming miami of ohio sacred it was sacred heart i mean all these games are just blowouts bro like we're good but we're not this good like even southern miss went nine and two or is nine and two right now we killed that like nobody is even close man we are just dropping our nuts on everyone as for recruiting i do have some sad news though barry garrettson he's going to alabama okay well it's not nice but this is what it is we'll have to move forward and then kirk emmanuel oh man lost it to a fellow mac team this guy looks like he's gonna be a stud a 6-2 corner don't like seeing that but for the guys that we did land so far i mean it's decent it's not like wow i'm trying to go for a lot more depth this cycle i don't really care about the quality as long as you're a 65 overall or higher coach goggles will take you with open arms it's really all i care about right now 65 overall or higher because we need a lot of depth on the roster after last year's graduating class i mean we seem to be on 
unbeatable. We'll see if we can test that theory today. We're playing Ball State. Oh, it's snowing too. That's beautiful. Okay, this will be fun. X. Oh, circle's gonna be a touchdown, I think. Come back. Oh, dude, I'm a genius, bro. I did not exactly think that was gonna happen like 100%, but hey, I look smart now. Good job, Ethan. This is just so bizarre. I don't understand it. This team, they just got a different breed or like a different level to them. I don't understand it, but let's just keep scoring. Yeah, it's gonna be a slant. It's gonna be a pass. It's gonna be a touchdown too. Circle! See, I just knew it, bro. I knew he was going to get off that press. Keyshawn Pipkin, he's been a stud so far today. Why is he wearing 27 as a receiver, though? That's strange. Clean up at aisle five. It's a splattering. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> stop oh my goodness man coach goggles doesn't want to take all the credit because you know he didn't recruit these guys but he's happy to reap the world wars that's for sure circle what like he just he's killing him like pipkin's a stud bro oh my goodness gracious and no surprise we won the last two games i mean for a college that doesn't have much money bro they had a pretty good roster to start off with that's for sure i mean it's not like we're dominating like the sec or anything but i'm still shocked especially after all those graduates we had last year oh my sexy ethan you dirty dirty Dog. He had 38, 70, 45 touchdowns, only five interceptions, bro. Oh, no wonder we were so good. Jeez, oh, Pete's, man. We ran the ball pretty well. Oh, it looks like the red shirt actually worked for Justin Lynch, so that was kind of clutch. And then, yeah, running back position is really bad. Thankfully, Justin was red shirted. If not, we would have been screwed here. But a receiver, Jayla Johnson. Whoa. Keyshawn Pipkin was really good in the game, but he really was not the oh okay that is confuzzling and then defensively yeah the true freshman sorry ray more he is gonna be so good bro he's already good so i don't know why i'm saying he's gonna be so good he's already good he's already a stud roy williams led the team or tied with the team because you know sars a stud with tfos he did get the most sacks though good job roy but now we're in the mac title game taking on buffalo this should not be close i would be shocked if it is officially shocked then i mean we're only up one i don't know how it's so close but it's only like the second quarter there's still time triangle that's easy touchdown though holy smokes yeah okay maybe this is where we start to get some separation i guess we shall see yeah i knew it dude we're just inevitable we're up 15 now i mean it's kind of just smooth sail just no pick sixes right here some stupid tanner will be fine some may call me dumb but i already know i am x late X loft it. Oh god, that was beautiful. Okay, Mr. Buffaloes, if you do not get a first dinner here, I think the game's clearly over. It's already over, but you know, I we need to put the nail in the coffin right here. Gil Howard. Yeah, what kind of what what's the what are we doing? You don't give yourself a chance to get a conversion right there. What the heck was that? I don't care if they're stupid, bro. In his second year, Coach Coggles wins his first Mac title. I mean, it was just very easy. I don't think we had a single game in single digits, right? I think every game was just a double digit massacre, dude. We were just dominant. But I think that's gonna end here, man. We're playing Georgia. Uh, yeah. Don't like this draw for us at all. I wish we'd play like a Minnesota or like some random power conference team that was really good. Not Georgia. No. Don't like this. I mean, so far, we're trying our best. We're only down seven, so it's not all, you know, bad news. But we need to try and get a stop right here. We can now let them get another touchdown. Cover three down here. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, gosh. Okay, please. Sack. Oh, there we go. Okay, call a timeout. Yeah, that was kind of stupid right there. He just like ducked his head and just ran so they will kick the field goal i consider it a battle one but i'm sure they're gonna win the war this is just bizarre dude i don't know whose grandma is a white witch i don't know what's going on right now but this is just oh i just oh i don't know what's happening just keep doing what we're doing i have no complaints Are we get a fumble okay keep I got, <laughs> I got lost in the sauce, man. It's definitely on Tanner. Oh, come on, dude. There's no way they make this right. There's no chance. How long is this math? Like 50-ish? Please, please. No. Oh, my God, dude. I didn't know they had Justin Tucker. Oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, we put up a valiant fight, but this game's over now, man. We're down 10. There's just not enough time. We only have one timeout, too. It's just, it's over. Just an awesome season. Hopefully, it's that easy for the rest of this video. I highly doubt it, but Romeo College is transferred i don't quite know why because their offensive line depth really isn't good so that sucks and then we convinced Keyshawn to come back for another season that's so clutch this guy was so good 250 he's built like a running back but he plays receiver it's kind of awesome and then ethan no surprise he's gonna get drafted best of luck at the nfl ethan as for the other graduates though he is not 
Uh, yeah, there's a, quite a bit of guys leaving, but the good news is the recruiting class this year is quite a bit bigger, and most of these guys were pretty impact players like Roy Williams will miss, Justin Lynch, so yeah, we're definitely gonna have to replace some really good studs. On where's the Saturday day, Matt Ross, kicker, need him, and we don't have a kicker or a punter. He looks like he could do both, potentially. Then our Mati Green, really want him. We need offensive line help right now, like so bad, so please, and then Robert Rogers is just like, yeah, you know, if we get him, we get him. We'll see what happens. And success! We went three for three. I'm honestly kind of shocked we got Robert Rogers, but probably nobody went after him, so not really that surprising, I guess. Giving us the 53rd ranked class. How? I mean, we only signed three and two stars. I don't quite get that, but okay. I mean, I guess that's good for the public press. Maybe? I, I don't quite know. And here's the class. I mean, it's really solid. Definitely better than the class last year. I don't think there's any doubt about that. I think it's... I don't want to say it's not a day because the class last year had some really good top-end guys, but there's just a lot more depth this year, and next year it's kind of going to be the same thing we're going to try and do. Just recruit a bunch of 65-plus overalls across our fingers because we still need depth on this roster. That's for sure. Did I really not get a running back? Oh, my God. I got three quarterbacks? Bro, I'm an idiot. Okay, well, that's stupid. Can we go back-to-back -back at the MAC? It's possible. I feel like a leech right now. Coach Goggles, like, seriously, bro. Like, this roster is just basically what they did before us. I mean, except for Sar Ray Moore, he's one of our best players. But, like, I don't feel like I've really done anything of value except for redshirt these guys. Because the depth on this team is still just, like, really yucky. I don't think we've recruited as well as I'd hoped. It's only been two years. I think this recruiting class is going to be super important. Because there's still some positions that we desperately need help at. Like, offensive line is not a position that you want to have thin depth at. But that's a position that we have thin depth at. I don't know why that center transferred it still doesn't make sense like he could have uh, yeah i don't get it man but yeah we have no depth at the offensive line we also still really have no depth at corner i did not address that last recruiting cycle and then the safety rooms is just kind of like blah you know it's it's not great man at all whatsoever there's still plenty of positions that we need to recruit heavily but at least we will have another good quarterback this year nevin kremaskali he looks exactly like the quarterback we just had like face and everything height weight it's also similar he's got 73 speed so he's not that slow he's got 99 awareness. Ooh, that's good news. I like seeing that. And then defensively, back to the corners. Like, we have two really good starters. It's just behind them, there's no depth. So, really hope that neither of you guys get hurt. This guy has, like, a really thin mustache. Like, a teenager mustache. But, I mean, he rocks it. He's very skinny. He's only 165 as a cornerback. But, yeah, these two are very good. We need to recruit some more DBs. As for the schedule this year, it's kind of going to be the same as the one last year. I don't think we're, like, that stellar. So, I'm not really going to challenge us in the non conference I mean, maybe Boston College to beat us they might have a chance we'll see about that but the mag last year i thought was really trash like we played a team that went six and six in the conference title game so maybe it'll be good this year i don't know what to anticipate to be honest with you but the schedule's really not that challenging because the mac is one of the worst conferences in college football so i think another 10 win season is very possible i knew it we're six and oh i don't understand it we're only in 84 i mean dude toledo's at 88 we play them this week maybe we'll win maybe we won't but i don't know man there's like like i said dude there's some sort of witchcraft going on i don't know if coach goggles has an assistant coach whose wife is like some sort of like fortune teller and we come up with the best game plan every week i have no clue but whatever it is i love it and it keeps working because it's not like we're scheduling all fcs schools like i did year one like we beat arkansas state we spanked boston college dude none of these games are close oh my gosh dude where was this at in the usc video i had i built up these insane teams in that video and they would not do this. I mean, this is just absurd, man. We don't have any close games ever. And early on for the recruiting trail, it's been pretty good. I don't want to say it's like been awesome. We only have five commits, but that's pretty good start for us. So I'm not going to like overreact, but I don't want to underreact if that makes sense at the same time. Like we have an offensive lineman. I still want to try and get more, but he was the only one I could find. So Connor, hopefully you can manage. He might have to start year one. We'll see about that. But yeah, we got some corners. We got an athlete. We got a quarterback. We got a receiver. I'm pretty happy with our haul so far. I mean, there's still plenty of guys we could potentially get to. So I think recruiting is going to be pretty good this year. I kind of previewed it, though. We're playing Toledo this week. They are a rival, apparently. So it's kind of an important game, but they're better than us on paper. But that has not seen the matter this entire video so far. So Coach Goggles, let's get the boys ready. I feel good. I feel really good. Oh, my gosh. I can't say I'm surprised because, like I said, they are the better team. But this kind of sucks, man. We're down seven. They have the ball in the red zone. Hopefully, we just hold them to a field goal. Like, that would be not that bad. Interception. Come on, do something dumb. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we can live with that. It's gonna be a three points. Yeah, that is a okay with my. Oh God, man, I was kind of hoping that we would somehow make a run, but it looks like yeah, our pixie dust is starting to wear off. Unfortunately, we're down thirteen. We need to convert this fourth down. X. No. 
I got sacked. Oh, no! Well, man, we fell back down to Earth. The bright side is Toledo already has two losses. I think they're both in the MAC, too. So maybe we could win the MAC still this year? Nope. Toledo went undefeated, but their losses were in the non-conference. I'm an idiot. Well, this sucks, man. I did not realize that game was going to be for our MAC Division West, but I can't be too upset because they are the better team. So not the end of the world. We still had an awesome season, 11-1. We won't be making the playoff, but the offense is really good. So is the defense. It really just comes down to the Toledo game, man. Like, we beat Western Michigan, Kent State. We did have a close game at Central Michigan, but every other game was just really just a mopping. Like, we just took care of business except for that Toledo game. I knew we would not have a drop off a quarterback, dude. Nevin Kremiscali. It sounds like a pastry he's really good i mean 3500 yards 44 touchdowns only five interceptions to the quarterback play we've got this video is just absolutely absurd that's why we got to recruit quarterbacks at a high level it's so important in sim but the running backs it just was not good man not good i mean we have some good young guys like eric will be a good player in the future will henderson's all right but still just there was a big fall off this year as for receiving yep i knew it pimpkin he's stud 1500 yards 20 touchdowns dude we should have put him at running back man he's an absolute monster prank Francis Coleman, the 6'7 title, is our second best receiver. Okay. And then last but not certainly least, Sire Raymore, once again, lean tackler. Most TFLs, 25 for Cam Crow. I, wow, that is an insane amount. 10 and a half sacks. I don't remember the last time I've seen double digit sacks in a video. So, Cam, that is incredibly impressive, bro. Like, good job. Want to give a little update on recruiting. My CL Tate staying at his home state. That's unfortunate. I wish I could have gotten him. He would have been a really good commit. But we did pick up some new commitments like Kiari Lavelle. He's a really good punter. Some other new guys down here as well. I don't really know exactly who's new. I just know there's definitely some new guys. I mean, how many commits do we have in this class? Like 14-ish? 15? 15 commits. So we still have plenty of guys or a few guys we should be able to get on Saturday. Day, so that's exciting. Now, this is not something that gets the juices flowing. Granted, you know, we don't deserve to make the playoff. But, like, come on, bro. We couldn't play a team that's actually ranked. We're playing Arizona? Eh. Does, like I said, just doesn't get the juices flowing. Well, we're already down seven points, so that's not ideal. But we're at the goal line, though. I'm not going to overreact. We're going to get a touch right here. One of these two slants. Yep, told you. Easy peasy. They scored a touchdown, but as usual, these Huskies, man, we do not go away, man. We are very, very ferocious. We're going to score right here. I got Capitus in the squad. X. Oh, see, it's wide open. My goodness, <laughs> dude. That was impressive. That was a lot of separation. That was an easy read. I just don't understand it, man. Like, Arizona, they're 7 to 5, obviously, but they're like a 97 overall. I don't know how. Maybe they just underachieved and we overachieved, but like this, I don't know. I just don't understand it, man. A lot of things in life make no sense, and this is one of those situations. Let's to score again and it should be ggs x oh it's touch on right there see easy <laughs> Oh, man, Toledo. I don't know what they did with the rest of their season, but they could have made a playoff push, man. Holy cow. Just an impressive season once again. I mean, after these first three seasons, you got to think that we have more money in the program, right? Like television stuff. I mean, once we get up to the American, we should get more money for the TV stuff. I think that's how that works. But either way, offseason time. Keyshot, I'm going to miss this kid, bro. He's like a running back receiver hybrid thingy. He's going to the first round of the draft. He won the Bolitnikov. You deserve it. And then graduates wise, we only have, I think, 11 other guys yeah somehow nevon or neven is not gonna get drafted that's a shame but yeah we are losing most of our best players so we've definitely got to reload next year coach goggles there's no doubt about that these off seasons are a lot less stressful when you got those 15,000 points man we're trying to get darian labeouf from nachachauschish uh louisiana it's definitely not how you pronounce that and then uh, oh another guy from louisiana a little pipeline going on down there i like that coach goggles then latez hendrick we're battling western michigan for we kind of need a tight end, so that'd be very nice to pick him up, too. We should go three for three. I don't see how we don't. And Yepers, mission success. We got Mr. LeBouf, uh, Martin Bergerin, and also Lantez Hendrick. Making this the third recruiting class of the video for Coach Goggles, and it's definitely the best one so far. And it's exactly the type of recruiting class we needed. 18 guys, lowest overall, 65, Trenton Mello. I mean, there's just a lot of depth, a lot of quality. I'm really happy with it. I think that we're only going to recruit better and better, though, as Coach Goggles keeps getting a higher overall. Next year, I think I'm going to try and go after some more top dogs you know like 70s maybe even some 80s but i don't know maybe i'll get lucky maybe i won't depends about the scouting but darian's really good so is martin i mean you guys can see martin could be our quarterback in the future he probably will be rankings never gonna be high this video oh we have a four star walking on i'm gonna cut him yeah i'm gonna cut him i'm sure he's not even that good anyway because when four stars walk on in this game they usually suck so either way i'm gonna cut that guy but we're never gonna be ranked that high because you know we're kind of broke we don't have that much money i mean we have less money than like division two and division three schools so yeah man we can't go up to the top dogs will we start to fall off a cliff i don't know
to be honest with you. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. I guess we'll find out. I don't think this team's nearly as good as the team last year, but I mean, like I said, I guess we'll find out. Maybe Coach Goggles has something up his sleeve. Like the quarterback position still isn't horrible. Like Mason Kidd, he's waited his turn. He's been very patient. Six foot three, 215, 74 speed. Like there's some things to like here. And then on defense, we have two really good linebackers. You guys know about Sire Ray Moray. He is so good at football, bro. He's been our leading tackler every single season that he started, which is his freshman year. He's been a starter since. And then we also have have Quentin Herring, who's a pretty good freshman red shirt. He'll be good in the future. And then uh, Bruce Malarkey. Yeah, we got a really good linebacker like trio for the next two years. How do the smart analysts think we're going to do this year? They got Toledo ahead of us. Yeah just it's not it's not there man you know we don't have those dogs we had beforehand for coach goggles that's for sure we got kind of uh i don't want to say we're born on third base but we were born close that's for sure i mean we're, I, it's gonna be interesting i mean there's some really bad mac teams so i'm sure we'll still make a bowl game but i don't know i think we got to temper our expectations for this season which is why coach goggles and the athletic director are gonna throw hands why would we schedule this game we're playing nebraska on the road mary mother of god dude i don't think it's gonna be close i mean hopefully we just play out of our minds. I mean, it's not been that bad. We're only down seven in the second quarter. Clearly, the offense, it, it hasn't really done much, but we can change right here. We can get a touchdown. Square? Oh, that's over the middle. No, no. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, bro. That was just, yeah, the ball, it took too long to travel there. I thought, no, it was, okay, that's my fault. Well, maybe I shouldn't have counted us out. I don't know what's happening. Don't ask me. I have no idea. I'm happy about it, though. We're up three. I mean, hopefully you can hold to a field goal right here. That is the goal, okay? They're running right at us, and everybody got pancaked. Dude, what the heck? Oh, man. We're down 10. There's less than a minute left now. Pretty obvious this game's over. At least you put up, a, like, a fight. Like, we didn't get knocked out immediately. I don't know how they did not just run the the ball like that the entire game like i don't know how this game was so close but i'm actually pretty proud good job guys hey i'll take it dude i don't care that we finished with a loss in the mac as long as we win our own division so we have a chance to move to the american next year if we win the conference championship but we're 10 and 2 i mean it's not bad we only lost one other game which honestly i'm kind of shocked by i thought we'd lose like two or three so i'm happy Alrighty. well nebraska ended up sucking so that loss did not look too stellar for us who was the other loss who was the culprit who was the guilty pot it was this is a wow. The last game we just played against Eastern Michigan, dude. Frick. Once again, though, the quarterback play. Just, like, really good. Like, 3,200 yards, 33 touchdowns. Like, Mason was not the problem. I don't really think... Hey, ooh. I don't like seeing that 13, though. Not only is that number cursed, that's a lot of interceptions, so yikes. And then rushing the ball was better this year. Hard for it to be worse than it was last year, because that was pitiful. But Will was okay, so was Eric. I still want to try and improve the running back room. I still feel like there's a little bit of untapped potential, but Eric Thompson should definitely be a stud in the future. Receive wise Toyus Brinson, the redshirt freshman. Oh my goodness, dude. He's 6'5". Oh, and he's got speed archetype. Me likey. Yeah. Wow. We have a lot of young receivers. That's good to see. And then last but certainly not least, wow, somebody actually led the team in tackles that was not named Sar Raymore. It was actually Quentin Herring. Good job. He had the most TFLs too. Oh my. And the most sacks. Quentin stud. It's hard to outplay Sire Raymore, but he did it, man. And this recruiting class is is just phenomenal, man. There's so many 6'5 guys. Another 6'5 receiver. Let's keep stacking these up, dude. I want our receiver room to look like an NBA team. Let's go. I'm loving what I'm seeing right now. There's a lot of 70 plus overalls now. Granted, I wanted to see more like 78s or 80s, but I couldn't find any. So yeah, if there's none out there that I could find that I can't go after, but this recruiting class is huge. There's so many humans, bro. I freaking love it. This is easily the best class of videos so far. How badly do you guys want to be in the American next year? This program, we need it, man. We need all the money we can can get okay we gotta get on tv more we're playing ball in green i think this should be a win but it might not be coach goggles we need the boys to be prepared well we got an early lead we're up four but they have the ball in the red zone so defense i need you right here let's make some magic happen playing deep coverage nothing dumb everything underneath no way no way yes zach let's go that might be out of field goal range potentially i mean i don't know how good their kicker is i'm sure he might be a stud there's potential for it okay well apparently they have a pretty solid kicker Hopefully this guy gets sniped by the turf or something. Maybe Casper can sabotage. Come on, please. Oh, yeah. That's short. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. He sucks. Let's go. This sucks, man. They got right back down to the goal line. Well, fudge. Okay, it's fine. We're going to get a stop right here. We're going to hanker down. Come on. This is where men separate from the boys. Okay. On the run. Pick. Oh, 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 okay. That was incomplete. Yeah, all right. Fourth goal. And they are taking their field goal. Okay, we know this guy sucks. 
He's not very accurate, so there's there's a chance. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but there's a chance, please. And now he made it. Oh yeah, all right. It's really as simple as just recovering this onside kick, right? Like, don't overthink this. Come on, please, guys, have good hands. There we go. Top thin spin. Okay, I didn't really do anything, but they only have two timeouts. Yeah, this game's over. Let's go, Coach Goggles. So there it is for Coach Goggles, his second Mac title. So next year we'll be in the American. I mean, clearly we are very very stable right now. Honestly, this game is just the cherry on top of the. Sunday, and I don't really like the cherry on top, so if we lose, I really don't care, but if we do win, it's kind of cool. I guess we'll see what happens. I don't understand it. Dude, it has to be an assistant coach. That's my theory at this point. I just hope that he doesn't get hired away by somebody else, but we're gonna score right here. I have the utmost confidence. Square C. Told you. All right, we're up 11 now in the second quarter. This is awesome. Oh, okay, Minnesota. Little Gophers. They answered with a touchdown of their own. Honestly, I'm not really worried. Like, the offense is doing really good right now. Let's just score again. Let's go, Michonne. Second. Oh. Yep, circle. Touchdown. Easy, bro. The offense is cooking. We are just so clutch in these bowl games, man. Besides that Georgia game where we were clearly outmatched, we're undefeated in the bowl games, aren't we? I mean, we're about to be undefeated once more. Up 11. Fourth and forever. Just gonna stop. Yeah, it's easily a tackle. Malarkey! Yeah, there we go, dude. I don't even know what bull this was. I didn't even pay attention to that. That's my fault. Oh, it was the quick lane bull. Well, we are quick lane bull champions. Another 12-1 season. Good job, guys. Players leaving time, and why? Oh, come on, dude. These were two of our best recruits last cycle. Curtis Dukes and Colin Duggan. They're both leaving. They're both... Offensive and defensive lineman, too. That freaking sucks. At least we convinced Sire to come back. He got the Dick Buckus Award. Good job, buddy. And then there's only three graduates. That's it? Ooh, there's a lot returning, except for those two transfers. That still makes me mad. With both those guys transferring, I kind of want to try and get all four. I, I would not play this this aggressively if we didn't have those guys transfer. I think I'd just go after three. But with those two guys leaving us, I think I got to try and get Jonathan Murray, too. So hopefully I can build out the science guy, Albert Einstein, like million IQ, outsmart the system. That's my hope and prayer. Please, let me go four for four. Ah, oh, come on, the one guy. I did it all for you, Jonathan. And for what? There's no reason. There's no reason, Jonathan. I saved myself a lot of stress if I didn't go after you, man. But I tried, and I failed. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We still signed the best class we've ever had this video. 23 three stars. We went after... Just about every good player we possibly could. And we got most of them. So, yeah. Super duper thrilled. And here's the haul. Top to bottom. It's not even particularly close. It's the best class we've had this video. Like, this is a national championship contender type of recruiting class. This is the exact type of class we needed. Now, next year, I need to somehow find some, like, 75 plus overalls. Is it going to happen? Probably not. Because we desperately need some, like, top dogs. Like, some top quality. Like, some more Kyer Raymore. You know, that guy that almost went to the draft this year. But guys like Clayton Harris. Herring, Louise Milham, Travian Tucker, Dorsey. I mean, there's a bunch of solid players here, man. There's a lot of height, too. Like I said, it's kind of like a basketball team. I love it. First year headed into the American, what can we expect? I honestly don't think this team's half bad. I don't know if we're gonna walk in here and dominate the American, but we should be able to be competitive and compete, win like eight games. I mean, another double-digit win season's not out of the realm of possibility. Like, I'm liking what I'm seeing right now. Something that does concern me, though, is the quarterback position, Martin Bergeron. He's got a lot of potential. He's only a redshirt freshman. He's a youngin'. He's a little calf at quarterback. 68 speed, 78 awareness. Like, there's a lot to work with. It's just, I don't know how good he's gonna be in his first year starting. Probably not that stellar. The good news is for him that he's a really good running back duo with Will Henderson and also Eric Thompson. But as you guys can see, oh, we also got Jaheim Merriweather, but we need to recruit some running backs so badly. It cannot just be Stacy and Eric next year. So yeah, running back is a position of need, but it's also a position of strength for the season. Now that we're in the American, who is our competition? Navy, 90 overall. That's very scary. I mean, we're in 86. We're moving up in the world. Last year, I think we were in 81, but who else? Ooh, Florida Atlantic. Ooh, okay, 88. But yeah, the American's definitely definitely more challenging than the Mac because you got you got Florida Atlantic and then you got Navy so it's definitely gonna be some stiffer competition but I think that we're gonna be prepared for it I knew it man we were ready for the wrath of the American we're eight and three six and three in the conference kind of what I expected I didn't think that we'd walk in here and dominate I mean the points for and points against is not exactly the widest margin in the world so clearly we've had some close games we're still ranked in the top 25 though which is kind of shocking beat Toledo on Ball State 
State, both of our rivals, UTSA. Ooh, we beat Tulsa in overtime, Memphis. Oh, my gosh. We lost two games in a row. Temple and North Texas. Yuck, man. We bounced back, though, beating FAU, and then we lost to Tulane. So, I oh, we beat Navy last week. That's a good win. As for recruiting, it's been pretty good. We finally found, like, a top dog of the class. Albert Harrell, 81 overall offensive tackle. Stud Muffin. There's a 75, 73. It's like the class last year, except for, obviously, Albert. He's an absolute stud, but there's just a lot of low 70s, high 60s. I mean, that's kind of the ceiling that you can recruit with since we can only recruit three-star players. So we're going to have to be a developmental university, and that is what Coach Goggles is all about. Now, I did take this Jawan Robinson guy since he's an athlete, so hopefully he's like a 75 overall running back or something because I could not get a running back. I mean, I'm going after Malik Hole, but it's not looking good. I had a 79 overall running back on the board, but he ended up going to Florida, so that guy was very mean. We got to end the season on a high note, though. Coach Guy was playing Charlotte. They're not very good, so in theory, this should be a win. Hopefully, we could just do that win. Oh, this game has had no action. Just like me. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah. We need to try and get a touch right here. We got to score for once, dude. Circle. Please. Yes. Slant. Wide open. Touchdown. Easy walk in, man. That guy is tall. Toyus Brinson. Very, very tall creature. Yes. We can make it 14 now. The defense is clamping up. They're doing their part to offense, though. Need you again right here. Come on, guys. X. Come on, dude. I don't want to have to kick this. Get out of there. Noah. Square. Oh, balls. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to kick it. I just realized, why is there a backup playing instead of Martin? I literally just looked. It says he's not even hurt. I'm so confused. It doesn't matter. We're up 10 points. Now we need to focus on the prize, and that is winning. Thank goodness for the defense, bro, because the offense has not showed up today. We're still up 10. It's the same exact score. Just score one more time, and it definitely should be GG's. X, potentially. No square. What the heck kind of defense was that? They just left him in no man's land. That was strange. I don't care. Osman Zaire gets the easy touchdown. Good job, buddy. So we ended up finishing in third place in the American Division A. Our division was just way better than the other one, I'm guessing. Yeah, it was just USF and Division B. Either way, though, it was not a bad season, but oh my goodness, dude. We had like a revolving door. Okay, so he was hurt. I went in the game, though, and it said he wasn't. This is strange. Even when he was playing, though. Oh my goodness goodness the, oh how did we win that many games with this quarterback production oh my gosh this is disgusting rushing the ball i mean it wasn't really impressive the defense had to have carried i mean there's just no other way around it i mean receiving i'm sure the receivers were pissed toys he tried his best but he had nobody throwing him the ball how do i feel bad man and here's the side of the ball that carried us sire raymore i'm gonna miss this kid so much he's been like our best defender the last like four years man most tfls was joshua lewis and then the most sacks was frankie earl it's bull game time. We're playing Cincinnati, a former American uh, participant, right? Or I don't know what the word for a member. That's the word for it. And they are better than us, but that has not mattered for most of the season. The offense for us has just been so bad, man. Hopefully the defense can carry once again. I know, man. The offense can't move the ball. Oh, goodness gracious. Come on, guys. We need to get a touch right here. We got to capitalize in this situation. Circle slant. Easy. Nice catch, too. I mean, it helps in that guy's 6'5". Toys is just a stud. And wonderful. We still haven't scored, and they have have the ball in our territory okay yeah defense i know that you guys basically have to carry us but like you gotta do it again for us right here i'm sorry throw a pick oh we're not oh. throw a touchdown <laughs> that's also an option oh my gosh we have a chance to win the game all we need to do is to just get into field goal range it's as simple as that i know the offense you guys have sucked all game but right here redemption yes circle over the middle Bruh. And he threw it to the other team. That was not even close to accurate, dude. Oh, my gosh. Martin! Oh, my. I swear, if they're in field goal range now, I'm going to cry. You cannot be serious. They're actually in field goal range. How is that possible? There's no chance this guy makes it. No chance. That's short. Okay, thank you. At least he shanked it. All right, boys. We're going to overtime. Passing. Pick, dude. Oh, man. Maybe a circle. Maybe square. Good square. Square. Yes! Okay, we're going for two. We are going for two. No discussion. No debate. Go for two. Go for the jugular. Only three routes, because I think they're going to blitz. Yep, I was right. X! Yeah, let's go! That out route, man, at the tight end is just a cheat code play. I mean, I don't know if I'm, like, that proud of this performance. At least we want to do the offense, though. It needs to be so much better next year. Like, Martin was just, oh, uh, yikes. That was a really awesome game. I mean, I'm just glad that we won the offense, though. It needs to be better next year, but onward, boys. Josh Cook transferring. Not really the end of the world. We signed, like, a bazillion cornerbacks last year, so it's not too shocking. Sire Raymore is going to get drafted in the first round. It's also not shocking. And then Mercer Lonitsky is also going to get drafted. Best of luck, dude. As for the 
graduates, though, I mean, there's not that many again. Like, last year, there was only, like, three. This year, I think there's around, like, 10, 11, or 12. The biggest issue is the running backs. I did not address it. I tried, dude. I tried. It's so hard to find running backs. I don't know why it's been such difficulty for me for this video, but it has been, man. Finally, dude, I was waiting for a transfer. Thank goodness it's an offensive lineman. Nate Hubbard, you made a smart choice, man. Thank you, Nate. That's such a big pickup. I cannot emphasize that enough, but Saturday is the time to pick up some new friends of Pierce Taylor, Ryan Joseph, and Robbie Lavoie are the three guys I really want to try and get. These three down here, I mean, I wish, maybe, but I don't know. I'm just going to go after the three top guys and just see what happens. Malik, I don't know, dude. I think I'm just going to deal with having a walk-on third-string running back, and next year I need to get a dude, because Malik is just kind of eh. And mission successful. We got Pierce, Ryan, and Robbie, so three for three. Making this their recruiting class for this year, and it's pretty solid once again. We got a really good dude. Next year, the good dude we need to get is a running back. I tried to get that guy that he went to Florida. I didn't show you guys him because he committed too early on, but I think if we would have landed him, that would have made this class elite, but I mean, it's not bad. It's a lot like the class last year, besides the fact that we have an absolute dude at the top, like Albert Harrell. He's going to be a first round pick. There's no doubt about that. Jaquarius Blankenley's got potential. Luke Harris, Rashad McLean. I mean, there's just a bunch of solid players. Like these guys would be like low 90 overalls, high 80s by the time that they're uh, fully developed. Probably ranked somewhat high. Yeah, 58th. That's probably around the uh, cutoff. I want to try and get that last star for Team Prestige. I don't know what it would take. Maybe like another playoff push potentially. Could that happen next year? I don't know. Year six of the Coach Goggles era is now underway, and I think this is the best team you've had so far this video. I think, yeah, I'd say so. I think so, yeah. It's only going to get better, though, because we've been recruiting a lot better the last, like, two or three or four cycles, and it's only going to get better with recruiting. As long as I can just keep finding some more gems that are, like, 80-plus overalls, like, I think that we'll build a national title caliber team. And who knows? Maybe this year's team can make a playoff push. I don't. I guess we'll find out. If we're going to do it, though, Martin has to be a lot better, because this guy sucked last year. It's as simple as that, bro. Like, his statistics were buns. 10 and 11! Oh, it's so bad. It's a negative ratio. The good news for him is he has two really good linebackers on defense. Kindred Yeast is his last name. I don't know how I feel about that last name. I would, if I had that last name, I'd be very upset. The name Yeast just gives off a very weird and just gross vibe. I don't know why. Maybe that's just me, but middle linebacker then we got Bruce Malarkey. Same thing here. The last name is just kind of like, eh, you know? I mean, he's 6'5", though. Mother of God. He's got 82 speed, 97 Excel. Yeah, this guy's gonna get drafted. I wanted to take a look at the championship contenders. Clearly, we are like a borderline top 25 team this year. It looks like we're 90 overall. Highest overall of the video, right? I'm thinking, thinking. Yes, processing. I think so. And then uh, 24, 15, and then 8. So slowly but surely, we are getting better and better as a program. But as usual, it's all about recruiting. So we got to keep doing that. And we're 5-1, and one, but we're 4th in our own division, dude. Why is the division so good? I don't know, but it looks like we lost the game in the conference, unfortunately. I mean, we still are ranked in the top 25. Who was the call? Oh, Tulsa. Oh, man. And I mean, every other game we won, actually, the last two weeks, we were in pretty close games, but the first three were absolute slaughters. As for recruiting, it's been awesome. I feel like it's going to be another solid class. Like, we keep stacking classes like this, and we are going to get a national title conversation sooner rather than later. I have a lot of confidence in that. Like, there's a lot of solid players. So, like, these guys will develop. They'll take their time. They'll marinate in the program, and eventually, they'll turn to the studs. I mean, that's just the only way that we can really do things since we can't recruit four or five-star recruits, Coach Goggles. We have got a chance today, though, guys, to do something quite special. Special. We're playing Navy. They're undefeated. They're a top 10 team. We could pull off the upset. We could really catapult ourselves for the rest of the season. So, Coach Goggles, let's get the boys ready because we have a chance to win this game. We are better on paper. Screw being better on paper. We're getting thrashed right now. It's 11 to 2. This might be the first time this score has ever happened in a football game. I don't know. Yeah, there's. I think they got a safety too. This is just strange. Just try and get a stop right here, defense. We know they're running. Yep, right at him. LaBeouf. And they got a touchdown. This is not going well, man. Down 18-2. to two. I guess I was foolish for thinking the defense would be good. They just... I don't know. Like I said, we're better than them, but we clearly are not proving it right now. We need to score stat. X. Is that going to be a touchdown? Isaac. Swerve. Oh, there we go. Good job, Nico. That's a cool way to spell Nico, too. I like that. Oh, man. This sucks. Okay, well, we know they're going to run the ball, so... I'm going to wreck him up the middle and just hope for the best. Okay, this is not going the way... What? Dude, no. No. Are you serious right now? How did they just... How is he going to take this to the crib? How? Dude, that just... Okay, well, I guess that's just a story of how this game went. Of course, man, that game decided... Oh, 
Man, look at our defense. 197 points against. I think that's the lowest I've ever seen in a video. And I wish I was exaggerating because there's no chance this team can make the playoff with two losses in the American. But, like, that is insanity. Our defense was so stellar. Yeah, we just won out the rest of our games. It's not really rocket science. I mean, were any of them close? Not really. I mean, even ranked Memphis, we beat by 15. Like, just a really good season. Just that Navy game and that Tulsa game, man. Also, doesn't help our offense suck this year. But was it Martin's fault? Not really. I mean, 11 interceptions is more than you like to see, but 3,200 yards, 34 touchdowns. That's a huge jump from last year. So who's to blame? I mean, Eric Thompson, what? I'm confuzzled. How was the offense? Maybe the defense was just so much better than the offense. I don't know, but even in our losses, the offense didn't really perform. I don't know how Nico is our leading receiver. How in the heck is Toyas? What? How is he our fourth? He's been, oh, he got hurt. Okay, so that's the, that's the excuse I'm gonna use. And then the side of the ball that absolutely carried us, Chandler or Fagan? He had 80 tackles. Oh my gosh. 25 TFLs for Freaky Earl. Oh yeah. Eight and a half sacks. This guy was a stud. As for recruiting, it's basically done. We only have two guys left. Timothy Cheeseburger. No, no, that's not. Cheeseboro. Okay. And then Devlin Teague. Yeah. Devlin. Oh, that's the name of that chicken, uh, that movie. What was it called? That's right. Just go with it. I remember watching that movie in theaters with my mom. It's a very interesting and funny movie. I don't know how it's so low on the Rotten Tomato score. I don't know. Those kinds of movies, that movie, Grown Ups. I mean, the IMDb is really what you gotta look at. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. But there's a lot of good players in this class, dude. Holy cow. Definitely the most 75 plus overalls in a recruiting class for us. Like, yeah. I think top to bottom, this might be the best recruiting class. Now, we did take some athletes that are a little lower overall down here. Some tight ends. But, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. We've got a running back. I mean, it does help one of the athletes we had last year. We moved to running back. So, that position is not, like, too big of a need. But, it's not nice to get some reassurance there and some depth. We got to end the season on a high note, though, Coach Gackles. So playing Colorado is actually a game I'm pretty interested in playing since, you know, they're a Big 12 team, and they're also a top 20 team, so this could be a ranked win to end the season. We're on to the right side. Tackle? Dude, everybody got blocked. Gosh dang it. That a great start. Yeah, this is not going well, man. We're down 11. Oh, gosh. Okay, offense. You need to do something right here. We need a touchdown. Come on, Martin. You big, strong, manly man. I cannot get over how big he is. Martin, he's got a lot of potential, man. I'm really happy to see what he did this year. I think next year we could potentially have an awesome year, but we need to focus on this game. Dude, this is like the first time the entire video that we don't show up for a bowl game. This is actually really sad. I don't know what's happening, but if they score again, I think that we are officially screwed. If we're not already screwed enough, run. Right at us. Right at it. <laughs> Man, I don't know what happened this game, but we got blitzed. Sucky way to end the season, but like I said, next year we should be pretty solid with Martin coming back. He was a stud this year, but we are going to be losing Mr. Malarkey, Eric Thompson, and Frankie Earl. These were three of our best players, so it's not like we're not losing anybody, but we only have four other graduates, dude. It's just another teensy tiny class that is moving on, so we're really not losing too much, but we are losing most of our best players, so hopefully we have some guys that can step up. As for side day this year, it wasn't really that stressful. We got Devlin and Timothy Churchboro with real ease. So yeah, like I said, it wasn't too stressful. So this is the recruiting class for this year. Man, it's good. Every year, I feel like we're getting better and better at recruiting. That's how it should be though. Coach Goggles is surviving. He's adapting. That's what he does best. That's why he's an elite head football coach. But honestly, I mean, the lowest overalls are athletes. Maybe these guys will be good at a specific position, but I don't really think that we messed up on anything. I think we did a really solid job. Like Kaya or Kaya Downing, he's pretty good. Austin St. Pierre, another six foot five quarterback, just like Martin, Asani Hilaire. I mean, there's a lot of 75 plus overalls. Just a lot of good players. And it's one of the higher ranked classes of the video as it should be. 45th in the country. That's what happens when you sign 23 players. And honestly, we're gonna have to cut some guys, which sucks because, you know, we only had like seven guys leave. But yeah, we have a lot of good guys coming into the program, which is very happiness. Last year, Navy took our spot in the American Conference Championship. This year, we are coming for blood. I think that we have got the roster to make a playoff. I don't know about winning the playoff or anything like that, but we can compete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing right now. There's a lot of happiness. The only thing I'm upset about is the running back room. I've just done an absolutely horrible job recruiting running backs this video. Every single one I try and get, I always lose. It's just very disappointing and depressing. But I mean, honestly, even with the running back sucking, I think that we should still be good. A big part of that is because Martin Bergeron is back and he's got 99 awareness now. He is fully aware. He's not going to make mistakes. He's got 70 speed, six foot four. I mean, he is a perfect, I don't want to say he's a perfect quarterback, but he's close to it. And this is what I'm worried about holding us back. This room is is just putrid. It's not very 
depthfulness, and there's not a lot of talent at all. So, yeah. I mean, Miles Niles, thankfully, this guy was an athlete a couple years ago, and we could move him here, but still, man, there's a lot missing in the running back room. The good news is the receiver room's pretty talented. I mean, we got Toys Brinson back, Osman Zaire, KJ Bryant. I mean, there's a lot of talent and a lot of depth at receiver. I wish we could recruit running back as well as we've recruited receiver. Like, it's literally night and day. Where are we at in the preseason AP poll? Oh my gosh, we're at eight? Dude, they think we're gonna be that good? I mean, we're only at 91 now. Granted, I have won national titles with teams that are worse, so I don't know what to expect, but I think we should definitely make the playoff this year. If we don't, that'll be disappointing. So far, so good on that goal. We're at 91 overall, as you guys know. Top four. Why are we ranked so high? I don't know why the preseason poll is so bullish on us, but the offense has been elite. The defense has been good. It's just Tulane is tied with us, but we are not playing them this week. We are playing Florida Atlantic. Oh my gosh, they're only 77. Who have we beaten, though? Anybody impressive? Toledo. Ooh, close game with our rival Ball State, but but yeah, really not any impressive wins. We beat food. We got revenge. I think Tulsa beat us last year, right? I don't remember. Memory? Work? I don't know. Maybe it was them. Maybe it wasn't. But we put up 63 on UTSA. As for recruiting early on, it has been elite. This guy's last name is so awesome, bro. If you have the last name McQueen, you're going to do good things in life. This guy's probably fast too, right? You'd imagine. You know, Mr. McQueen. Yeah, 83 speed, 91 excels a linebacker. Exactly. He's fast. And we got some really good offensive linemen. I think I might have gone overkill on the O-line, but we kind of need it. Is this guy... Did I just see what I just saw? A 6-6 six, six safety? Ho <laughs> ho! Yes, let's go. He's the first guy off the bus type of kid. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. As soon as they see that guy come off the bus, they're like, is that guy a tight end? No, he is a strong safety. Tally Latou, future stud. Future stud, man. There's so many good players. And it's only like, what, like week eight, I think? We got to keep the undefeated season alive, Coach Guy. I was playing FAU at home. As you guys saw, there was 77 overall. Like, this has got to be a dub. And for this game against FAU, we have practically our entire recruiting board visiting. It's easily the most important visitors weekend of the season. So, yeah, we got to win this game and we should be able to as well. So, I don't want to over exaggerate, but yeah, I think this should be a dub. Square? Oh, it's going to be a touchdown. Dude, I'm a genius, bro. Sometimes, man, my IQ is higher than it actually is. Osman Zaire, thank you for making Tanner look smart. I appreciate you, bro. Oh, why is um, Mart not playing? Aaron Jensen? Huh. I don't know. That's strange. I don't know how the big beast Martin got hurt, but apparently he is injured. So, I mean, the bright side is we're pretty comfortable right now. Like, we're up 14. We're going to score again. Like, we're going to be all right, but that sucks. So, there you go. Touchdown. Let's go. Oh, man. That was schmexy. Good job, Toys Branson. Man, it scored right before the half. That was awesomeness. Good job, Aaron. Beautiful. We're still up 14. Just comfy in the fourth quarter. Just recover the side side kick. I mean, even if we don't recover it, we should be fine. Oh, my goodness, dude. He launched that to the moon. Nice catch, though, by now, because you return this for... Yeah, it's not going to happen, though, but awesome, though. But either way, boys, it's a W. And afterwards, this weekend just keeps getting better, dude. I mean, I know Coach Goggles, he's a big concert guy. Would not be surprised to see him go to one after this to just celebrate the awesomeness. But, dude, like, there's so many commits. So much yellow, man. Only plus 600, plus 650 for a couple guys. Pretty disappointing. But we picked up most of the guys that were on the visit. So now we should be able to go after more guys. But I don't know if there's any other good recruits out there that are available. So I guess we're going to have to find that out. And... And Coach Goggles does it again. He found some new guys. Pierce Boykins. He's a Chuko, but he's an 80 overall. So he could develop here for a couple years. That'd be a stud. We also picked up this guy, Kahiki Ki Kiona. I actually think I might have gotten that right. He's definitely Hawaii. She looks like a stud, though, at safety. There's also some other guys I picked up, but I'm going to be honest. I don't remember which ones. Yeah, I don't remember who else we picked up. We definitely picked up some new guys. So this is going to be another big recruiting class. So that kind of sucks because I have to cut some guys in the offseason. But, I mean, the cream rises to the top. We'll cut the guys that are the worst. Oh, this guy's got a cool afro right here. Tim Scafi. I like that. Oh, my goodness. Wow. We lost to the lane. There's no other way. Yeah. I'll be honest. I don't know. Do I want to be hard on myself? Should we make the playoff? I don't know. I don't think we deserve it in the American. I think if you want to make the playoff in the American, especially how easy our schedule is, you have to go undefeated. I mean, oh my goodness, man. That's really the loss. Lost by 10-2 at home? Oh, man. It's not like we lost in overtime or by a last second field goal. I think I'm going to be hard on myself and Coach Goggles. Like, I... We got to go undefeated, man. There's no way. Oh, that's so frustrating. They should make it. They should be the representative. We should miss out. I mean, it's only fair. That sucks, though, man. I thought for sure we'd make it this year. Dude, just being hard on ourselves, though, man. There's a small margin of error, and it doesn't help that Martin got hurt. 
this guy, dude. He has an injury bug. Oh, he's plagued with it, man. He was good when he played, but he was injured for most of the season. It looks like Aaron Jensen stepped up in his absence, though. 19 and 6. It sucks these guys are the exact same age, so we can't really do much, you know, about that. Like, it'd be nice if Aaron was a year younger, but he's not. But, I mean, it looks like they were both okay. Rushing the ball, though, it's just not good enough, man. It's just, it's such a struggle. I don't know what the problem is with the rushing. You know, I do know what it is. It's actually us recruiting, but, yeah, I just still, I haven't figured it out, dude. It's so hard to find running backs this video. I don't know why. It has not been hard to find receivers, though. Toyus Brinson was a stud once again. Like, we could definitely pass the ball. It's just the rushing part. It's a little eh. Defensively, though, it was good again this year. Quinn was a stud. It looks like he had the most TFLs and he had the most sacks. Good job, man. Also, Patrick Floyd was pretty good. So was Robert Rogers. Like, we had a lot of old guys that were pretty good. But I'm gonna be truthfully honest. I don't want to play this bull game, bro. I'm just, it's just a frustrating situation. I thought for sure this year would make the playoff at least. But we're playing UCF. Are we better than them? Yes, we are. So, Lee Corso, thanks for the win. Hopefully, we can prove them right. Come on, Northern Illinois. Huskies. Come on, boys. Win domination. Yeah, let's go. One by five. All right. Citrus Bowl champs. Good job, boys. Maybe next year we can make a playoff run because I feel like we're there. I feel like we're knocking on the door, man. I don't know what it is, but Jonathan's transfer, not really shocking. We have a bunch of receivers. Oh, our kicker, our punter actually tried to leave. It looks like we convinced him. Martin, Darian, and Aaron Jensen all to come back. Then also transfer. Why was this guy trying to transfer a running back? It's like the one position where you can get playing time right now as a young guy, and he tried to transfer, but we convinced him to stay for another season. As for the graduates, though, and Antwanja, Ant, that's interesting. There's a T there. Hmm, I don't know how you pronounce that, but he got the Remington Award. He's going to the draft, and then also Armonte Green is getting drafted. As for the other graduates, though, we're going to miss out on some receivers, but we should be able to replace them, and there's really not that much, once again. Like, Quinn was really good, our best defender this year, but I feel like we should be able to replace most of these guys with equal to or better players. As for Saturday this year, once again, it was not very stressful. There's only two guys to go after, Pierce and Jordan, and like I said, it was not very challenging to get both those rascals so yeah this is the class of 23 man hall probably yeah definitely one of the better classes this video i mean recruiting is just really not that difficult now the only issue we have is getting like those high-end players but like i said these guys like these 70s 71 72s like these guys have pretty high ceilings and pretty high floors at the same time so not really upset with taking them the focus now shifts to year eight coach goggles and my gosh this team is absolutely phenomenal bro i'm gonna guess this team is like a 94 96 95 kind of in that range but yeah easily the best team we've had this video <laughs> coach goggles has got himself a squad coming back at quarterback is martin i hope he doesn't get hurt because that feels like the only thing really stops this kid two out of three years that he's played for us yeah he got hurt his first year too i'm pretty sure but his second year he did not get hurt so just go back to that martin he is a little loosey-goosey with the ball though which i don't like so much but he's a really solid quarterback 99 awareness that's an awesome sign if he ever goes down we do have aaron to back him up as for defense we have a really good save to do starting with marshawn oh mayshawn a little different there six foot four oh he's very skinny though i like to see him put on some weight and then we also got strong safety darian labov now this guy's big strong boy 98 overall 85 speed not the fastest guy in the world but he's very aware we are going to be needing that iq this year that's for sure oh number one team in the country is ranked 95 where are we at oh we're also at 95 we're actually ranked number five in the preseason i don't understand that to be quite honest with you but it's obvious this is a championship level roster it's all about execution we also have a really good special teams too that could come in handy this year coach goggles yep we were awesome 12 and 0 10 and 0 oh yeah looks like our defense is actually like really good so is the offense i mean we're 12 and 0 obviously both sides of the ball we're pretty freaking good were any of these games close that's the question i want answered and not a single one that's awesome we ran through the american like uh what's it what's this saying like uh knife through cheese or something like that oh uh, what's a hot knife through butter i think that's what they say yeah that sounds right martin was pretty good it looks like he got injured though because aaron had seven touchdowns i mean it would only make sense he only had three interceptions he took care of the pick skin thank you martin rushing the ball oh wow miles niles only an 80 overall, but he averaged 7 yards per rush. That is extremely shocking. Wow. 18 touchdowns, too. Yeah, I am flabbergasted. Receiving the ball, Dakota, the six foot five NBA prospect, was our leading receiver. KJ Bryant, Carl Armstrong. It's like we spread the love at the receiving position, that's for sure. And then lastly, but certainly not least, the defense. Michael Fields, another six foot five specimen out there. He had the most tackles. Most TFLs was David Brown, though, the dreads. Good job, David. He had the most sacks, too. Good job, man. But now we got to take on food 
Dude, in the American Conference Championship, I mean, we average close to 50 points per game. Lee Corso thinks we're going to win. I mean, this should be a spanking, you'd think. So, we'll just go out there and deliver it. Oh, my God. What is happening? What is going on? Do they spike the offense's water or something? I don't know how we haven't... We're, it's a home game. What's the excuse, guys? I don't like this at all, man. Especially if we won a national title. Like, we got to score. Touchdown. Curl route. Happiness. Brian, he's fast. Let's go. Okay, well, we got our touchdown. Let's just hope that we just had a little bit of like a sleeping in situation going on. Hopefully we wake up now. Oh, yes. Okay. I don't know what it was, but we finally decided to figure things out. We're at the goal line. We got to execute. We got to put this game away. We got to destroy food. Oh, that's open. Oh, okay. It was not that open, but it worked. Good job, NBA player. Yeah, I was really hoping this would be like a dominant win going into the playoff because we're going to be the number one overall seed. But clearly, food, they're rowdy. I mean, they are stingy. But one first downer here, and it should be GG's. Or maybe a touchdown. Holy, make the throw. That's wide open, man. We've got some offensive explosiveness. I don't know what happened like early on in the game with that little lull we had, but we finally woke up in the second half. Picking up the American Conference Championship. Good job, guys. Okay, guys. It is time to win our national title in the first round. We got to play California. They took down uh, Miami, so they're definitely good. They scored a lot of points, too, so this might be a high-scoring affair. A little play action right here, Martin. Get out of there. Circle. Yes. Way to create separation. So smart. Good job, KJ. Yes. Oh, oh yes. Okay, you guys are giving me hope right now. I think we can win a national title, boys. I believe we just need to score again. Another touch on right here. Yep. Easy peasy. Let's go. We're up 17. It's live in half. Man, I love life right now. This is awesome. We're up 26. Another touch right here, Martin. Oh, it's going to be an easy one, too. I mean, yeah. How much easier could they have made this game for us? I mean, it's awesome. Thank you, guys. Hopefully, the semis are this easy. Yeah, that's not looking likely. Georgia, very scared. Very, very scared. X? Oh, my God. That's touchdown. Oh, talk about threading a needle. That was sexy. Good job, Carl Armstrong Jr. Yes, we're playing good. Okay, we still have a seven-point lead. We got to make it 14 right here, though, because you guys know Georgia. Very talented football team. This is not going to be easy. We got to take full advantage of the situation. Circo. Somebody. X. There we go. Okay. Sexiness. Man, our tight end's been really good. Oh, it's a different guy. Lattes Hendrick. Good job, buddy. I'll be honest. I'm pleasantly surprised. Like, I thought this was going to be a dog fight. I mean, not, hopefully not literally, because, you know, there are two dogs. Bad joke, I know. But, Okay, guys, just score again. It should be GG's. All right, one. Oh, my gosh. That's a touchdown. <laughs> let's go. It was that easy. All right, let's keep it rolling. I don't know what it is about this team, dude. Like, they just don't play close games. Hopefully, that continues. Playing Florida, they're definitely good. They just beat Michigan. So, yeah, this will not be easy, but I hope it is. Come on to the right side. Easy touchdown. Oh, my goodness, yeah. I guess a very slow running back Stacy was, but he still got the job done. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, this is not going too great. I mean, we're only down four. It's not too bad. We see a score here, and we will. Triangle. Back in the end zone. Pooya! Ching, ching, ching. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're up three points. Okay, defense. I'm going to need some stops. Oh, my gosh. Intensity at its finest. This is what we live for, boys. Okay, we just need to get to field range. As simple as that. Okay, we have a good special team. So we're going to be okay. Just get into field range. We got this, Martin. X on the seam. Now circle. Oh, my goodness gracious. Fourth and six. That could be it. I'm not going to score, though. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm going to play smart. I'm just going to. Yeah, I'm going to kick my field goal. That's a smart move right there. Nikola Tesla will be proud, dude. It's chestnut checkers around here, boys. Let's go, national champs. Coach Goggles. There we have it, dude, for Coach Goggles. Took about eight years, I think. There's a lot of winning going on here, though. I don't, I don't really think that we had too much difficulty with the winning aspect. Now, recruiting was a pain in the butt for a long time. I'm not going to lie, but we made it happen. We found enough gems. We found enough studs, Coach goggles we got ourselves in the poorest college football program in division one a national title it was eight years right one two three four yeah the lowest win season we had was ten and three twice that's just absolutely bonkers man coach goggles is probably one of the most impressive videos i've had to be honest with you i don't know how we were so successful i mean i get the max sucks but like we just never had a bad year and it's awesome we eventually capped it off with a national title good job again coach goggles you deserve all your flowers man and if you enjoyed click the bell on the screen where i did a 20-year rebuild with usc and NCAA football I think you'll love it.